this is Lukevin here, and today I'm going to show you a quick poem for Mac. As you can see, it failed for me at first, um, two times, even after I quit the uh, iTunes helper in the activity monitor. monitor. But um, after, as you can see, it failed for the second time to patch the iBoot, I decided to go online and search why it was that it wasn't working for me. Um, just, just so you know, what you have to do is not delete the application like I did there, even though you probably could in case this isn't your problem. What you have to do is go online and go to the dev team blog and if you look closely in their blog it says to not use the on archiver uh, for um, unzipping the download the torrent download and that's what I did and that's why it wasn't working and, that, and if you do that it won't patch the iBoot so now what you do is just deselect everything in um, the on archiver and then re-unzip the uh, file and the normal punch tool will come up so now let's just go ahead and put the down the uh, zip thing in the downloads and open up the new uh, quick bone tool. Um, it's gonna give you a warning. Just click OK, and right there it asked me if my iPhone was connected, and I clicked OK, and it automatically finds which device it is and what firmware it has to be. Right there, I'm not clicking anything. Then it's gonna start building the IPSW. Here, it's not my screen uh, recording thing, but the application that froze. So that might happen to you. Just wait a little bit, and it'll start over again. So this does take. Um, a couple seconds and then it's gonna ask you for your password there all you have to do is type it in and just click OK and then once it's done that a set of instructions are gonna come up any second now alright this is kind of hard now what you have to do is just turn off your iPhone or iPod touch and now uh, it's gonna tell you prepare to press the home and power buttons in five seconds now pressing the home and power buttons for ten seconds and then what you're going to do now is release the power button. Now you're holding the home button. It's much better than the before. It has a dialogue unlike the Windows version, which is just a little text that tells you before uh, the countdown actually starts what you're going to do. Here, those, those little, uh, that quick little uh, loading, you still have to be pressing the home button. But once it gets, gets into this longer loading thing, just all you have to do is just like go, you can just let go of the home button. And I'm going to give you a live preview here of what's going on with my phone. And photo booth is loading. There it is. And now, as you can see, my phone is in the pineapple logo while that all oh, that uh, stuff loads onto it. I'm just going to move the uh, photo booth right next to the quick phone. And then, um, once it's done, your phone will start to show the little uh, spinning thing you saw when the photo booth left. Just press OK. And your phone will look like that for uh, some time. And once it's done, it will be jailbroken. So um, let me go ahead and show you that. This is what it's going to look like after it's jailbroken. You're going to have the new installer beta and Cydia.